Hey all, it's me, um, Double D, coming back at you again with episode two of my show. Um, well, let's see. To begin with, um, somebody named Da Holycomb um, posted a question to me. It's kind of a fascinating question about um, what would actually happen if five. Uh, five guys went toe to toe with weapons in a match. Um, I saw that X Tulsix also posted a message about that question, and uh, my sentiments would be something along the lines of actually his sentiments, which would be that it's it, the question itself is actually a little bit vague. Um, it could maybe be. You know, expanded upon some because I'm I'm a little confused as to do you mean like a five man uh, team match like it would be like maybe three on one team and two on one team like a handicap weapons match do you mean like five guys individually doing um battle uh, in in the match like um with weapons obviously and um. If so, then that I mean that would be two completely um, unique uh, matchups. So I just I don't know what to say. Like who I would think would I I don't know. Um, obviously a mat. I I think a, if it was like a bunkhouse stampede, you might want to check into that. They have some bunkhouse stampede matches that took place in um, in the 1980s that you could check out. And they, they didn't have weapons, though. But it was inside, of usually, a steel cage. And it was anything goes. So you could you could do anything. Anything. But it was... It didn't have weapons. That would be my best um, advice to you. Uh... Also, the WWF does, I mean WWE, not the old WWF, the new one, which is called the WWE. They actually have um, something called an elimination, an elimination chamber match, which also is in, inside. I don't know if you like steel cage matches, but this is kind of like a steel cage dome type of a facility that um, anything also goes in that. So... That would be something you might want to check out if you if that's the kind of match that you want to see, because I can't think of just like a five guy weapon um, match. Maybe also the, like like X Tulsik said, the old ECW company, not the not the ECW that you see today, but the old one that was by Paul Heyman's ECW. They also had some actually weapons matches, I think. I don't know if, about five guys. See, that's the thing. If it, was, if it was like an even amount of guys, it would make you know a lot of sense. But an uneven amount, like five guys, makes it um, kind of you know difficult to say the least. Because you don't usually see a match with five individual guys all by themselves with weapons. It just doesn't happen that much. So maybe you should like do, you know do you like matchmaking and stuff like that because. I mean, you obviously think outside the box and you have some good ideas. So, I mean, you, maybe you could get, like, a simulation game or something. And, I mean, you might be able to have a lot of fun if you think of lots of ideas of games like that. But anyway, um, the topic of my show this, this time out is that I wanted to talk about something I like a lot, which is women's matches, actually. Um... I was a huge, uh, I, I like the old, in like the old WWF and the old AWA when they would have the women's matches and it was called women's matches and not, like today they call them diva matches and I don't exactly know like what makes um, the difference between like, uh, oh, I mean, I think a woman and a diva is the same thing but I don't know exactly I, like what that means. But I know that I like women's matches and the diva matches. See, like what I liked about the old women's matches and the old companies was that the old matches had women who looked like actually like women that you would see like out in public, like when I go shopping and stuff. Like 
I like to shop sometimes. For, like in my food, and you know, you'd see women's matches that have the women that look like like those women that you would see outside in public. But nowadays, it's like they look all like they like models, and they have the fake, you know, thingies, and the um. That stuff is fun also to watch, but I liked it. I liked, like, Sue Sexton. Um, she was one I liked a lot, a lot, like, and Candy Divine. I wish I could, if anybody knows how I could, like, send contact, like, like send them something in the mail, like, um, just to let them know that I, I like them. I not, I mean, not like them, but, like, I enjoyed watching them in, in uh, in competition, because they had a good, you know, competitive, you know, I, I like them as athletes, let's say, let's just put it like that, like as an athlete, Sue Sexton, Candy Divine, those are, like, I keep them on the same page as the male athletes, and, um, you know, but if I could, if somebody could help me, I would like to contact Sue Sexton and, uh, actually... Candy Divine, I have some eight, eight by I think it's eight by eleven or eight and a half by, t by ten maybe, envelope sizes that I could I could send I could make a it's called a SACE, uh, S A S E I could send them that with a stamp and maybe if if I could send them that they could send me back like, in uh, a photo like a like a big one like the eight, the same size obviously that would go in that envelope. I think I maybe sign one of those and say to Dan, you know, my, uh, um, something like I mean, if like I don't want to tell them what to put, but if they had like an idea that they could put on my message, it would mean a lot to me, because I mean, it's something that I wouldn't mind ha having to look at and not just like look at. I mean, it's kind of like a keepsake memento um, that I could hang on my wall. Uh, that would be, I would like to do that. Um, also, obviously, like, the Fabulous Moolah. She, I, I liked Fabulous Moolah, but she was not as, I mean, maybe I just like the, the good guy. Not guy, you know, the good ones. Like, the, they call them baby face. That's why I liked the best. Like, Sue Sexton, Candy Divine, she was good. Um... A Bambi was one. She was. I like Bambi. I don't know if anybody knows how to contact Bambi, but mostly I want to contact Sue Sexton if somebody knows how, and also Candy Divine. Um, but that'd be fun. But I like women's matches and like X Tul Six and all my fans. I want to know what you guys think about women's matches. Do you like them? Um, do you think that the old women's matches and the new um, diva matches? Do you, which one do you like best? Is what I'd like to know. Um, because I think they should go back to the old kind with the women, women's matches instead of the the diva matches. That would be my biggest thing. Also, I want to just talk about um, yeah, mostly women's matches is what I want to talk about, I guess. And I wanted to say. Uh, the holy, the holy comb. Um, good question, though. And uh, I thought about it, and like I said, you know, if you could just maybe um, change the question a little, so that it would be something, you know, so I could know exactly what you want, what kind of match you want to see. I mean, and then X Tulsix. Um, yeah, uh, what's up? Um, I want to say, you know, because you keep, you say what's up to me, so I wanted to say what's up back. Uh, maybe it's too bad you don't live in the Chicago land because we could maybe, you know, we could have hung out. Um, but that's okay. Maybe if you send me, uh, if you have a telephone number, maybe we could talk sometimes. Um, we could, like, maybe watch shows at the same time and talk, and then we could maybe, like, post messages about that on the YouTube. That'd be fun. Um, it looks like I'm almost out of time on this episode, episode two. I, you know, I want to thank all you people that watched it. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun posting these. 
and I hope to uh, continue. So um, keep sending me questions, and we'll keep it going.